Vroom vroom, start it off. We have this goober ass named Gail King. So if you aren't aware, Gail King was on uh, CBS doing an interview about Kobe Bryant. Uh, a clip was posted online. Basically, Gail went about, you know, asking Leslie what she thought about them. Uh, Leslie countered by saying, listen, uh, he, that's not how I know him. I know him to be a very good, innocent person. And then Gail kept pressing her. And when people saw the clip, it went viral. Everyone got mad. All right. I watched the clip. I understand why people got mad. It's no surprise to me. And I mean, people are mad, man. Mad, mad. Big mad. At the dancery. Her pressing, that was, that, that's what really showed me that she had an agenda. Because if right. I already tell you, you ask me a question. I already tell you, no, it's not like that. Right. Yeah, but really, it's, really, what do you think about that? No, it's really not like that. Yeah, but come on. No, it's not like that. Yeah, but you wouldn't know. You don't care about, it. at this point, when someone is acting like that, it doesn't matter right. what I'm gonna answer. All right. You're still on your you're still on your track, your trajectory. Mm -hmm. You're not trying to find the truth. You're trying to fit your narrative. And that's what really bothered me. So Gail came out after all the backlash and she said, yo, I did the, the full length. It wasn't as bad. If you guys had seen it, you would understand. I showed it to Leslie. She was fine with it. Like they they put out that short clip unbeknownst to me. Now, I watched both. The short and the long one. The short one is extremely insulting. The long one is still insulting. She didn't give the full context. So even in the entirety of the clip, when you watch the full interview, she still doesn't give the full context of the court case. If you want to bring up that, fine, bring up the whole context. Don't cherry pick what you want to paint the image that you want. Because if you do, don't be mad if other people who know the most of the context get mad at you. Don't be surprised. You omitted details. You are lying. So don't be mad when someone gets mad about your lies. Gil has been saying really weird stuff. The reason why this troubles me so much is that if men are doing the right thing and they're behaving appropriately, they don't have to worry about any of this. They don't have to worry about being accused. How a black woman could say this is unbelievable to me. Don't you know our history? Both of them jump, chilling in his apartment. Did he do something? Emmett Till, did he do something? At Tatiana Jefferson, did, did, did she do something? The Central Park, one, two, three, four, five. 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 Did they do something? Man, get this chucking and jiving ass out of here. And so Gail came afterwards and said, no, CBS is the one who put out the short one. But I'm like, listen, bro. Of course. You work for them. And there's no doubt that they put, why did you think they put you forth to do the interview in the per first because place? Because you're why? disposable. No, because she's a black woman. Who do they always get whenever it comes to black entertainment or athletes? Who do they get to do most of those interviews? Black woman. You know what it is? It's my quota theory. When an owner, being in the business, when an owner in a club doesn't like black people and has a quota on black people, and trust me, it does happen, what they do is that they don't put the white bouncer in front because now the whole thing is shifty. They put the black bouncer in front. To tell the people, yeah, no, we don't, we don't accept them. So you cannot accuse them. You cannot accuse the network of racism. If they would have put a black host there doing that, automatically it would have been like racism and this and that. But they put black women just so that it, you can't, you can't call it you, an ism. Do I think CBS used her? A hundred percent. But here's my thing is like, you benefited from them using you. You made millions of dollars. You played into the fact that they were going to use your blackness as a means to be able to take down the legacy of black people. You can't let them use you if you don't buy into some degree. It's a mutually beneficial relationship. Even if I recognize that they were trash for putting out that short clip. And it's no surprise that they did no. because they just want clicks. But you benefited. Every media company right now is thirsting for clicks. Yep. So when they put out that short clip without context, I'm like, how does a journalistic company do something like that? But they're well aware of what they're doing. They want to create controversy because at the end of the day, it creates traffic. So if you guys really want to hurt them, boycott CBS. That's pretty much it. That's the only way these people are going to learn. It's when their money's affected. I'm done Don't moaning. Move. I'm done accusing people. All I'm going to say is I'm done with y'all because that's how y'all move and you're not going to get me. Don't, so that's what I tell you. Don't, don't repost the clips. Don't, because that's what they want. They actually want. Yeah. It doesn't matter if you repost a clip and you trash it or you repost a clip and you praise it. It does not matter. At the end of the day, you reposted that and you created a click. Oprah came to Gail's defense because they're best friends and you already know what they say. You know what I mean? If you're going to shuck and jive, might as well do it as a duo. And... All right, Wes. And oh. I, I think the last 24 hours for your best friend have been 
pretty difficult after that interview oh. with Lisa Leslie about Kobe. And I just wondered just how she's doing. She and She's not doing well. May I say she is not, she is not doing well and has to now travel with security and um, she's feeling very much attacked. How do you think Kobe Bryant's family feels? I was about to say the exact, exact same thing. You see how Oprah was mad about the fact that people were attacking her, Gail King, for valid reasons? Imagine how mad people get when you attack someone they love for invalid reasons. So. If you want sympathy, learn to sympathize. If you want to be treated like a human being, learn to treat others like a human being. The man is dead. I don't know about your community, but where I'm from, that means something. You let the dead rest. You don't unearth it so you can spit on it. And this man hasn't even been buried yet, and y'all already throwing dirt on his name. You guys want to put dirt on a man who hasn't even been buried in dirt. Think about that. So how do you want me to sympathize? Very much attacked. You know, Cosby is, is texting from, is, is tweeting. tweeting from jail. Hey, my man Cosby trying to get a lick in too. He'd yeah. be like, hey, get some of this chocolate pudding. You did, uh, zippity bobbity boo. <laughs> you did me wrong too. <laughs> 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 you could just know. <laughs> Oprah's like, Dibbidi Bobbidi Boo, you did me wrong too. <laughs> oh, not the doll. Oh, not the doll. <laughs> you know what I like? This doll's inanimate, much like Bill Cosby's favorite people. Oh. <laughs> I don't know why people are surprised by Gail King or Oprah throwing. Sorry, no pro throwing black men under the bus. <coughs> it's what they do. It's what they've been doing. Oprah's been doing this since like the 80s and the 90s. Right? What she's done to hip hop artists regularly. You know, you saw what she did to MJ, right? She saw what she's trying to do to Russell Simmons. You saw what she, she got on with Bill Cosby. Like she has no problem. But then you ask these same ladies who take pictures with Weinstein and all this stuff and they're very quiet. When Oprah on her own show had that guy from Brazil who's now being you know, accused by a thousand women for what he's done and she's never come out against that. I'm just like, how come y'all so comfortable saying this stuff about black dudes? But when it comes to your people from other communities, you guys are quiet. It is what they do. And what you have to understand is not because black people make it to a point of privilege and power that they are necessarily going to look out for black communities. Nope. They don't, because sometimes when people get to a certain financial level, they identify more with their financial status than they do the communities from which they came from. It's not surprising to me. So me, I see more, I see Oprah more as a rich woman than I do see her as a black woman, if at all. N nigga, she's black? This is what I think about Oprah. This is a no brainer. Yes. Bye. Bye. Boy, bye. bye. You know what the thing is it's, it's really unfortunate because like she was it's crazy when i was growing up one of my aunt um was a godmother mm. she was always watching oprah and just like oh it's oprah it's interesting topics and stuff like that like she was when you're desperate for icon but the thing that happened is not just stop and, and you know it, it's probably gonna sound like i'm repeating myself but yeah just stop putting people on pedestals but people, then people are not all good or necessarily all bad. Yes, uh -huh. I said that. And that's the thing. So when we have someone that is on a pedestal like that, they're not, all, there's some flaws to that. And some other flaws can be a detriment to your culture and to your people. And that's what it is right now. Yeah. Well, what do you say to people who say we're putting Kobe on a pedestal? We're not. I'm, we're not, because we're trying, the thing that happened with Kobe, okay? We're not saying that he's an angel. Or, <laughs> now he is. But we're not saying that, we're not saying that he was, we're not saying that he was all good or all bad. It's nuanced. Everybody. It's not putting, it's not that you cannot bash. And is it though? Is, is it nuanced? Because here's my thing, right? Right. I always say believe the facts and evidence. Yes. These women are coming from the perspective that believe women. But just today we have another story about Amber Heard and we have recordings of her saying, who's going to believe that a man was victimized. Absolutely. So my thing is like, the evidence doesn't corroborate the woman's story against Kobe. No. Society refuses to believe men. Why am I gonna give her the credence if she has no evidence? Because we already know for a fact that women do lie yes. a lot.
It, I don't know why everyone's coming out like we were pretending like women are some kind of perfect gender. No, y'all lie too. So I'm throwing these accusations. Excuse me, we don't lie. <laughs> Nobody would, in a situation like this, lie about yes for yes, millions yes, of dollars. Yes. Nobody would. Nobody. Nobody. nobody would. No, for millions of dollars. No, nobody. Why you? No. If, if you find a million dollars in the bag, you wouldn't lie. No, pro. <laughs> <laughs> you had to. Yeah, <laughs> All right. So, I'll be honest with y'all. You know what that is? Crime your River. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> You think I don't know this song? Nah, Yo, anything but... Timberland produced, I know. So, carrying on. Some people know him for Justin Timberlake. I know. I know that song because of Timberland. He made that yeah, song. Yeah, Timberland. Right? It's Timberland. There's no. There's. There's. there's it, it was not. There is no Justin Timberlake no. without Timberland or the Neptunes. No. But anyways, and it was not. Nah, no, it was the rest of it. Yeah. And then the 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 the. the, the and the boy, the, the, the voice is. Why do you think all those albums were hot garbaggio after I they heard. left it? Okay, we all know. To the what 2020 experience, <laughs> nigga, are you blind? What are you talking about? Because that was garbage. Okay, listen. can't you see? Yeah. <laughs> what you do to me? Turn it off.